first leg, it's Simon to throw first. Game on. First things first, what is Simon using as far as his darts are concerned? I think there's something different to Budapest. And they are. Look at those beauties. Oh, I think we have seen him use these before. I'm struggling to remember where. It might be a Pro oh, Tour. No. Might, be, might have been a Euro Tour somewhere. I think it's more recent than that. It must be a Pro Tour. They're not dissimilar. Do you remember the little ones Peter Wright was using at the start of the year? But yep. He was using them with oh, a much no. smaller stem and flight and point. Now, once you stick the wizard's points in there, and a decent sized stem. They're not dissimilar to those ones. But they are quite yeah, a departure from his, his usual setup. Yeah, he's been going through a bit of a tinkering process lately, and it's not something that Wayne goes through. He tends to use the same thing all oh, the time. He went from a stumpy dart to the pencil dart just to try and score a bit more in the way of 180s. But I look at the, the colouring of them barrels that he's got there. And of course, the iridescent nature of the stem and flight. There's more colours on there than there is from the pathway from Asgard to Earth. There we go. Marvel reference for you there. Or Norse mythology, whichever whichever route you approach. Uh, 81. That particular bit of... Well, that leads me to the fact that you said he was the junior of the two. Well, I think he's the silver medalist when it comes to beards today. He is, yeah. I mean, he's not even close to gold, is he? Simon's got a fan out there donning the Aussie colours recently Simon's not been wearing the green and gold he's been wearing just the practice polos 60 so Simon you require 64 he just wants to get into stage mode ahead of a European championship berth to have another crack at yeah, that yeah, title when you require 160 it probably misses that don't matter it's only probable, though. Now it's definite. 60. They only play each other on the eight. European Tour, these two. Come to that in a moment. Yeah, it's on the first leg. Hopkins to double win. four to hold his throw in the opening leg. Wayne to throw first. 16 dart start for the Australian. Yeah, they only play each other on the European Tour. They met once at the German Darts Masters. They also met at the UK Masters. Only one and only time we've had a European Tour event in the UK. But then we were in 2012 and 2013, and they've not played, not played since on the. Oh, 125. Well, it's been nine years since Simon won his European Tour event in Newland, in the Netherlands. If you'd have said to him at the time. 60. That he wouldn't win another European Tour event. He'd still be playing in them in 2021. He would have said, nah. I'll win some more. But then again, he could still win some more. 80. Genuinely could. I mean, Simon Whitlock. It's been a feature of his game the last year and a bit. When he starts. 85. Scoring, the 180s, he really does pile them in. He's become a sort of, he's a batch scorer of 180s. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't one. surprise you in a best of 11 game to see the wizard knock in seven or eight. It's that kind of, he goes on these streaks where he just cannot stop hitting the treble 20. Now I'm not, I'm perhaps not quite as confident with these dogs yeah, as with his usual setup with the sort of slender tapering point ones. Triple 18 would have left double 18. 59. But he's cantering right now at a very good 105, 106 average. And that's about 30 ahead of where Wayne is at. So he's going to have to raise his level. And he's probably going to have to wait 100. for Simon, Simon to just put the brakes 56. on a little bit. But he won't be in that kind of mood. He wants to get rid of this as soon as possible. Double 10. Very tidy leg. job. Simon Gets the break of throw. Two the up. Simon and he's Rufus. trying to do what Mervyn Game King did this afternoon. And he so eloquently put in his interview afterwards with Philip Brzezinski. This game is about getting to the finishing point as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter who you play. If you start 2-0, make it 3. Don't take your foot off the pedal. Oh, the Wizards in the mood here. Yeah, 
when I said that he's a player who tends to hit 180s in batches, Six. you always fancy he might be in line for a perfect leg when he's in the mood. He looks like he might be in the mood. Ooh, Simon, you've let me down there. 140. I can't remember the last time I saw Simon Whitlock before this season play with flights that were almost see-through. And that is a big feature of Australian darts. You wouldn't believe how many players down there play with see-through oh, flights. I remember he used to have some because he has to have the little sort of Simon Whitlock kangaroo motif on yep. some clear plastic. Because I think I've got some. 100. That's you getting tweeted by all the collectors who don't have them because they don't sell them anymore. That's, do they not? No, I don't think they do. Good, good set of flights then. Oh, good set. A six in this way. He is getting better and better and better. Trouble 10. On a double after 12, and Wayne Jones cannot live with this. And Wayne is playing this game to get through to the next round to play Michael Smith. But he's also six playing for another crack at the Europeans, which he's been 32. to the world. Sorry, the, the, the final of before. But Whitlock hasn't got that pressure because he's already in that yeah, tournament. And he's Son at the halfway Whitlock. point in no time at all. Four legs, Wayne through first. 11 years Game. since Wayne made the final of the Euros in Dinslaken. Yeah, a long while since he, he did that. It's been a while since we've seen Wayne really... 136. Of a, ...a dent on a, a big TV tournament. But Simon Whitlock throughout the various peaks and troughs of his career. You just can't rule him out. And particularly the European Championships, something well, seems to happen to him there. Obviously, it's the big major tournament that he's won, but he's also had more runs to the final, other deep runs there. He's played some astonishing stuff at that particular well, tournament okay. in various different locations. It's not like it's always one city he's going back to and performing there. Just it's one of the only sports where someone who is from outside of Europe can win a European Championship. Yes, yeah. And of course, Kyle Anderson made the semi-finals as well. Mm -hmm. well. That's tidy doubling from Whitlock. Just imagine what his average would be oh, if he'd right, been a bit more accurate on the outer ring. I fancy he's going to get to a finish from this 3 or 4. Maybe I'm wrong. 96. See how much those darts are wobbling when they hit the board. That's a sign of how vertical they are when they hit the sizal. And that's because he throws them with such ferocity. And at the start, the darts climb in the air, then auto-correct the other way. He needs those really aggressive points to grab the sizal. Otherwise, they would fall on the floor. Look at that wobble. I'm just doing the sums in his head. 52. Go, okay, yeah. When you require 74. Nothing wrong with that, using the bullseye to get down to a, tr a finish that does not require one, but first starts at double for Wayne Jones. Yeah, it's on the fourth leg, Wayne Jones. Well, we are dealing exclusively in five Game. visit legs in this match. Seems to me like Whitlock has shown him the way. Oh, I do beg your pardon, he started off with a 16 dart to Simon Whitlock, so... No, it's pretty neat and tidy stuff so far in this match. There you go. That's very neat and tidy. Wayne's never really been one, with the exception of that 100. couple of years where he was really hammering the Grand Slam. But he's not one for a dart shirt, is he? He just sticks on a polo with a Wolverhampton Wanderers badge on it. And off we go. 140. Is part of the old school. Yeah, I'm not really sure that that conforms to the official PDC rules, but I'm also not really sure that Wayne's that bothered or anybody's really going to pull him up on it. Yeah, certain dark players wear pin badges, don't they, to signify who they support? Andy Jenkins used to wear a badge. Got some wizard fans out there. I'm assuming that's a kangaroo. Could be a quokka. Could be a wallaby. 140. Somebody with 124. Walker. Now there's a word I didn't expect to hear today. 
Come across any quokkas while you're living down under? No, I came across lots of animals, but not a quokka. 63. Why, they're the happiest animals down under, Paul Nicholson, I'll have you know. Big fan of the Tasmanian devils. They're great animals to watch. But not as good 94. as the wizard. No, he he's in 64. Oops. Do it fast. Do it yeah. well. 4 1 Winlock. Playing at a very consistent 99 and a half average level. Looking passionate. Looking like he wants it. Can you imagine a time where he's not playing at this level? I, you do want. Look, I know he's not as consistent. He isn't the force that he was. I mean, he was one of the best four players on the planet for quite a long period, Simon Whitlock. Staying up there. 140. And I know he's not at that level right now, but he said before, you are going to have to drag me kicking and screaming away from the board. You are. I'm going to keep 60. on playing until I just drop off. I cannot win a leg. I cannot win a game. And I don't see that time coming anytime soon. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. He's just got so much passion for the sport. Still plays locally, of course, to try and own his skills against some of Hampshire's finest, like Sir Richard North, Gigi Mathers, who lives very close to him, and some others like Chaz Barstow. But he's averaging 91 and a half for the year. No, and that's in around a 68th position right now. And he really wants to be a lot higher than that if he's going to trouble winning tournaments again. But it's still One there eight in that department. 180 number four. 164. I don't think it's too fanciful to say that Simon Whitlock 60. has had Simon enormous influence on the sport in general. But as he looks at this for an 11 data, oh, a 12 and double eight. Ooh, 33. Well, we've not seen him do that oh, very much in this game. 104. Come back to that point in a moment. Still on. And now it's not. 72. So I'm going to go on. Start. But you fancy Whitlock is about to go within one with a break here. Am I wrong? No, yeah, I'm not. Simon oh, Whitlock, Whitlock just <laughs> taps Simon the Simon noggin as if to say, Ooh, should have lost that leg, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and there's another 15 data. 98 average for Whitlock. He's been pretty much chugging along at 15 darters every single leg. And look at that. Great scoring. It's just a case of how long it takes him to get the job done. And I know we've talked a lot about sort of hot spots of darts all around the country. You know, you'll hear... Paul talk about the Northeast and all the players there that create a thriving community for, for players and it drives the standards up. Got lots of good players in the same area, they spur each other on. It means you're playing good competitive stuff regular all the time. And you have to get better. You've got no choice. I think Simon Whitlock moving over here, setting himself up in Hampshire where he stayed ever since he moved over more than a decade ago. I think that has, must have had an enormous impact on the local guys. Particularly when he's playing in so many of those tournaments. And the likes of Chaz Barstow, who we're seeing breakthrough now. Richard North, who's had his tour card and dropped off, but he could come back. These players 81. owe an awfully big debt to Simon Whitlock individually just for being such an enormous, enormous part of the dart scene down there and helping it improve simply by being there and playing and 60. being part of it and being somebody to aspire to. I think he's had an enormous influence on the local scene, on the national scene, on the worldwide scene of darts. I think he's an absolute icon of this sport. Couldn't agree more. Well, he's still eight. absolutely musty. 5-180s in seven legs of darts. It's another one of those magical batch 180 hitting performances for Simon Whitlock. And you think the match might be over now, but great pressure from Simon Whitlock, 43. Is this the end of the road? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> the match dot. Down south. 11. And it might not be match over yet. When you're going Jones, 36. You've got to pay a huge credit to him for putting that pressure on with the 140. 
to lead this double 18. Can't miss this. 27. Does. Sign your Whitlock will 32. exhale and then walk forward to put his name in the hat against Michael Smith tomorrow. Double eight. Yeah, sure. It's three out of three Herman. for the Wizard against Sorry. the Wanderer on the European Tour. He wins this one by six legs to one.